Soul family. A lot of us spiritual beings have went through so much gang stalking, attack, hardships, and this evil energy vampire demon matrix of having lies put on our name, being falsely accused of a lot of things, just because we spiritual beings that irritate a lot of these demonic spirits, energies and shit, man. A lot of us spiritual beings went through so much fucking hardships on this, right? Now, let me tell you this. A lot of us spiritual beings, we we always think in our heads and our spirits. We be wishing that we had a different lifestyle. That the way that a lot of these people who fit in the matrix be having fun and shit, going to Dominican Republic, Cancun, Mexico, Montego Bay, Jamaica, all these different fun places that's considered vibrant. A lot of us spiritual beings cannot experience that because it's like we be existing in this matrix to like go through so much gang stalking attacks that just like mess with our damn psyche, mess with our damn like spirit all the damn time to make us like flash out ready to just explode on any demonic being that we see through the TV or through the Freemason court systems, any type of Freemasonry like organizations like it just makes us really want to just fucking just obliterate these damn evil demonic beings who run a matrix that be giving us spiritual beings a lot of hell and i really hate these damn demonic freemason energy vampire jezebels i really hate them bro i really hate them a lot i could use my experiences all day of how I dealt with a lot of gang stalking attacks that have been placed on me ever since I was birth. Like I started experiencing gang stalking. I've been gang stalked by a lot of demonic beings on this planet in the country of USA since like, I, it, had, it started around 2020. It started around 2020 when the gang stalking shit happened to me and shit, right? It still happened to this day in the most subliminal slick ways, right? These damn Freemason systems that hide their identity in human form when they are really so-called men in black life forms, draconians, you know, the fucking demigraws of the world, the fucking goddamn, bro, any type of demon species you could think of. They be gang stalking me and try to like fuck with my spirit and shit and try to like lie on my name and try to like make life be hell for me and shit in the matrix, right? That's something that I've been experiencing since 2020, all the way to 2023, right? It's very fucking sad. These people who be in Miami, Florida, Cancun, Mexico, Montego Bay, Jamaica, you know, all these different locations that you would that you would deem or consider as fun, vibrant places. Those people, man, those people ain't never had to go through gang stalking agendas. That's because a lot of spiritual beings we be growing up in environments where it's like it's so damn it's so damn energy draining man like us spiritual us spiritual beings supposed to be in cancun mexico us spiritual beings supposed to be in montego bay jamaica like look on instagram all these all these all these places all these places where you see a lot of these um zombie people who fit in the matrix be at like when you see a lot of these girls be in puerto rico and in, in certain cities in Mexico, certain cities in Jamaica and shit like that, for example, bro. That's where us spiritual beings supposed to be. Not supposed to be in this damn energy draining, demonic spirit, Western countries like United Kingdom and USA. Because USA is so damn depressing. It really is. <laughs> it's like the only places in USA that's not depressing would be like Miami, Florida. Because I'll never see people be depressed out in Miami, Florida. I never see people be depressed out in Las Vegas, Nevada. I never see people be depressed out in San Jose, California or San Francisco, California or Oakland, California or or like Sacramento, California. The only time they might go through some type of depression if they like had like a relative that might have passed on ascended to the next lifetime. But other than that, like it don't really be no depressed people out in these major cities where a lot of people always tend to go have fun at. 